Well, first up, Moni, I must say congratulations. Well done on coming up with this invention. I'm sure it took you quite some time to get here. Uh, when I read a background about you while I was preparing for this interview about this so-called swallowing toilet, I was just wondering, why did you get interested in plumbing in the first place? Thank you for that question. Uh, my name is Muni Mukwena. I'm coming from Viking Bank outside Mukobani. We are having a poor sanitation and we don't have access to a running water. We are using the pit toilet. So uh, we noted that this pit toilet, it is having uh, a a huge disadvantage because kids are keeping on droning inside the pit toilet. So when I relocated from Kopani to Pretoria, I first worked as a office administrator at Bashumi Trading and Projects. We are doing maintenance. Uh, we are specializing in plumbing and in electrical jobs. We are maintaining the building around Pretoria. So sometimes when you take the water readings, we had people complaining about the high bill of water, while on the other side, last year, Cape Town was complaining about the drought. So we noted as the plumber, we have to come out uh, with the solution, or we have to find what is the cause of that high bill. As we are busy doing the research, we we heard that uh, the toilet, the flushes, is the one that consumes a lot of water. Then we started investigating the toilet. On our finding, we found that uh, the first toilet that was designed, it was in 1596 by Sir John Harrington, which is 422 years ago. Then we noted that we have to do something about this toilet. Uh, we sat down as a team. We are the plumbers. We brainstormed. We were working the whole night, day and night, trying to find what we can do. So we came up with a toilet called Swallowing Toilet. Uh, okay, our hold toilet, on. Yeah, hold, consumes... on hold on, Moni. Be before you okay. tell us about your invention, I just want to, you did that research, you checked, you saw that the normal toilets are using a lot of water. So you had to come up with, yes. a, new, you had to come up with a new toilet that uses less water. Yes. Um, you, on our finding, we noted that the, the toilet that we're using today, the one that was designed 422 years ago, it has a P-shape at the back, or I can say a mountain lake. So that one, it is contributing a lot for the high consumption of water. Remember, by, doing, by having that uh, solid P-trap or S-shape, that Mr. Sir John Harrington was, wanted to prevent the smell from coming back from the house, which was good by that time. And remember, there was no population by that time, and water was not an issue by that time. So during this year, water scarcity is a huge problem to us all worldwide. So you've changed, so the, design, that you've can, changed the design of the pipe? Yes, we design, we, we change the design of a solid P-trap at the back. Us is flexible P-trap or S-shape. So how much water does it use? 400 milliliter, less than one liter. And you're still able to flush the toilet properly? Yeah. Yes, it does. It, it swallow, actually. It does swallow. Okay. Yes. So, so now, what, what's next for you? You've presented this idea, uh, coming from a rural community, you realize toilets are serious problems in, in your community. Now, you've come up with one that's going to use little water, help us to save water. What's next for you now? I beg your pardon? What are the next steps now? What are you going to be doing next to make sure that oh, I... this toilet gets used? Oh, okay. Thank you for that question. Right now, as Bashumi Trading and Project, we don't have the fund. We want to make a mass production. We really need the fund so that we can manufacture this toilet on our own. If we can have the factory or the space so that we can also create the jobs, that we share the new skills. Remember, this toilet is unique and it has uh, its own uh, functionality. Yeah, well, well, and on the other side, we all... Yeah, continue. Hello? Continue, continue. On the, other, on the other side, we also want to save government. Remember, most of the time, people are stri striking of the uh, service, poor service delivery, like issue of water. So we want to save that as well. Because now when we flush with this ordinary toilet that we are using today, we have to do multiple flushes, whereby 
one flush it consume more than 10 liters when and then you have to flush twice or more which consume 20 liter already so we want to s save the government as well okay thank you very much and good luck to you that's moni mukwena she was the original winner of the engine pitch and polish competition that was took place in saint in the where she presented this new idea she's invented a toilet that uses less than half a liter of water hopefully somebody's listening and will support it